Welcome back to another level grind. Let's play. I am L Zero, and this is I am Setsuna. Last time we played, we entered the Blackwell Cave, and we fought the little kid monster. And then I felt really bad because he actually—he actually was kind of like a kid monster. It was probably only doing something because um, his mom or something. I don't know. So let's go find out what he's up to and why he did what he did, and make me feel worse about what I did. Oh, his mom's dead. Stay back. Don't come near my mama. What the? You don't mean this is his mother. But this is a corpse, and one that's been dead for a while. Does he not understand that she's dead? I see. I guess he thought that if he brought her humans, she'd recover. That's why he kidnapped the whole damn village. Ender, can I try speaking to him? Uh, yeah, of course. Thank you, Ender. It didn't seem like the villagers came to any harm. This boy is different from the other monsters, I'm sure of it. Hey, listen. Your mama is dead. I know that. That's why I brought her food. To try and make her better again. No, that's not what death is. Huh? When living things die, time stops for them. They can't talk to you anymore. They can't do anything anymore. What? Why are you talking about? I don't get it. I don't get it. Mom was fine until that man attacked her. If only he never came, she would have been fine. Who attacked her? I don't know who he was. I just hid. There was nothing I could do. It's all his fault. That man. He was so terrifying with his huge scythe. You don't mean that freak again. So he's not only attacking us, he's attacking monsters too. You can't stay here any longer. But Mama is... You know, my mom died when I was little too. So I know how it feels. I know exactly how it feels. In fact, I even envy you. Envy me? Why? Well, I don't really remember my mom. Really? I remember, ma I remember Mama. Yes, that's why I envy you. You have all those memories together with her inside of you. Memories? That's right. You always have those memories, and she'll always be there. As long as you live. As long as I live? So live on. The way you, that way, you'll never lose those memories, and your mama will always be with you. Mama, I... Come on. Come with me. Let's leave this cave together. Oh... So, yeah, he really, he didn't hurt the villagers, but th I could have sworn they said that he stole the kids first. If he stole the kids first, where'd all the kids go? I saved two males and a female. Where'd the other ones go? Um, where's the shortcut? Oh, ooh, lamp work. Um, oh my god, I'm lost. How, where do I go from here? Was it this way? Um... What? Ah, no, 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 I don't fight. Holy crap, I don't know where to go. Is this where I came from? Was it this way or was it the other way? I don't freaking remember. Um, oh, I missed something. Caparella. I wonder what that is. <gasps> oh, I made it. I find it. So this is the child. Whoa, you look cool. Oh, it's a female knight. This is the monster that attacked our village. Who are you? What impudence. When asking someone's name, etiquette dictates that one must first state a one's own. However, in light of you having captured the monster, I shall overlook this indignity. My name is... <gasps> She's a teammate! Julian! No, I'm not changing her name. My name is Julian. As head of the knighthood, I must demand that you hand that monster over to me. Head of the knighthood? The villager did mention something about that, didn't he? Then I need explain no further. Come, hand over the monster. Please, please wait. I know this boy kidnapped the villagers, but he isn't an evil monster by any means. We can't, we can understand each other. All you need to do is talk to him. What absurdity. Whether he is evil or virtuous is not the issue. His crime is having endangered my people remains unchanged. Please, wait, please. 
He doesn't pose any threat. Once it has inflicted harm, it shall already be too late. You understand this, I am sure. If the creature is vanquished now, needless damage can be avoided. You, you're, you're working together with that man, aren't you? I'm right, aren't I? You can't fool me. No, bro, no, don't do it. Finally, you've revealed your true form. Now that you've bared your fangs, I shall consider you a foe. And to my foes, I show no mercy. No, stop. Tatuna, watch out. Stop, stop doing it. Yeah! So you dare oppose me, masked man. Very well, I shall bring death unto you. Whoa, she's freaking powerful, man. I can't believe it. What incredible magical energy. Wow, she looks, oh, that looks freaking cool. You will have an eternity to regret your foolishness in the afterlife. You shall rule the day you ever laid hands on my people. Whoa, Satsuna, you freaking stopped that? You wish to die first, don't you, do you? Our lives aren't the same. Some are shorter, some are longer. But one person's will to live is just as valuable as another. Setsuna. Ludicrous, the monster must be killed. If left alive, it shall only pose a threat to the lives of my people. The seeds of disaster must be cut down the moment they begin to sprout. But sometimes you can solve things by talking. That's why I won't let you harm this boy. Thanks. Oh, you made him run off. I know not from whence you came with your soft-hearted ideals. But placing trust in the likes of monsters shall lead only to regret. Humans and monsters cannot coexist. They are incompatible beings. Very well. My fervor has suddenly diminished. It seems that my people are in your debt. I must thank you. If there's anything I can do to help you, I shall do it. We need to cross the ice. I see. A somewhat troublesome task indeed. Each year there are those who try to cross it ignorant to its perils and lose their lives. Very well, I shall assist you. In any case, preparations must be made. First, return to my village, Royberg, and rest yourselves. Oh, but we scared, you scared the boy off. Now he's gonna be alone in this cave forever. Damn it. Was there no way to avoid that? But if I had, if I had stopped Setsuna, then she would have killed the boy. Oh, all right, well. Hopefully, Ludius is now in the village. Allow me to formally welcome you to Roybert, the village of knights. As for our next move... Where did you guys come from? Julian, I've been waiting for you. What are you doing here, Lilas? What am I doing here? I wanted to help you. Help me, you say. That shall not be necessary. But you asked me to. You asked me to help you. You not remember? I asked you to help me? What nonsense. If I allow myself to be deceived by your falsehoods, I shall be unable to take the lead of the knighthood. Fal falsehoods? What are you talking about? Julian, why did you change? What happened to you on that day? Uh. Away with you. It's unfortunate that you had to witness that. A mere difference of opinion, of course. That's a pretty extreme way of getting your opinion across. It was unavoidable, lest I set a precedent for others. Anyway, this is no importance. No importance? I shall arrange for a guide to lead you across the Floberg waters. In the meantime, rest yourselves here. I'll make us feel welcome, then. We're in a hurry. Is your task so pressing that every second counts? Yeah, this is a lot more important than you can imagine. You see, Setsuna here is... Be quiet, Kerr. Yes, ma'am. Well, would she have attacked him? Oh, well. I'm going to take a look around the village. Let's just take the opportunity to rest up and cover our health. Okay. Yeah, this is the first chance we've had to take it easy. Anyway, I'm kind of excited to be in a new village. I'm gonna have a look around. Setsuna, you have to... You seem down. 
Huh? Oh, sorry. You don't usually see say things like that. So you took me by surprise, Ender. I can't stop thinking about that boy from the cave. I must stop, though. I don't have any regrets. It'll do us good to be around some cheerful people. Let's talk to the villagers. We might be able to find out some useful information, right? Come on, let's go. Yeah, well, because I'm a silent pro tag, I need at least one person with me. They turned left my party, night. Oh, they all left. Why? Alright, let's talk to these people. You got a recipe for me? In the old kingdom, there were people known as minstrels. Great men who would put tales into songs. I myself am directly descended from these noble wordsmiths. These distinguishable men of song. The problem is, Her Highness is simply not herself lately. It really doesn't make a very good song. <gasps> is Julian the, the princess? Did she become a knight? What's up, little kid? I dad's the third strongest in the whole knighthood. Pretty impressive, huh? I bet you're lost for words. No. I kick his ass. But I won't tell you that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's see if I can find a uh, recipe. Or let's see if I can find Ludius. He's probably in the tavern. Uh, where'd all you guys come from? I only saved like three people. Then the woman. I teach the children here in the village. We all recognize that both pen and sword are very important. So I handle the pen part. And the knights take care of the sword. Snow, snow. Oh, tell me snow. Oh. Is that it? That's angel voice, little girl. That's funny. Most of the villagers of Ryberg are descended from the people of the ancient kingdom. Oh, is that it? Is that all you have to say? Um, alright. Well, you know what? Let's go to the tavern first. Because I want to sell the stuff I got. This is... <gasps> it's her. Wait, will that start the progress? I don't want to, but I'll talk to her. What is it? Can you not wait for a guy to be readied? There's no need to hurry, so spend some time here in my village. You shall soon be on your way. Oh, you're cool if you wouldn't stop being a bitch. <laughs> I don't know what happened with her, but I'm pretty sure. We'll <gasps> yes, weapon tallies! Wait, what do I have? Ooh, Demon Slayer! Bind it, bind it, bind it, bind it. Uh, I don't need mithril. Necklace of the Ancients. Bind it. Twilight Snow, bind it. Because it has a cool name, Salt Crystal Ring. Bind it. Uh, I have a lot of money. You know what? I'm just going to buy it all. There you go. Alright, let's go inside here. Come on, Ludius. Yes! Wait. No! Ludius is not here. I got to find him. Let's go talk to this person up here. I train myself constantly so that one day I'll be able to assist Lady Julian. I know I've still got a long way to go, but seeing you fight has really inspired me. Yeah, you can be a cool knight chick too. I right, talk to you. Everyone here in the village relies on the knighthood to protect them. I'm ashamed to say it, but although I may be big, I'm a coward. Oh, you cowardly bastard. All right, let's go in here. Check all these houses. Ludius, where are you, dude? Oh no, this is a progress person. Oh, it's you. Glad to see you got back from the cave safely. Thanks to you, I didn't end up as monster food, so I can continue with my research. Thank you so much. I love looking into ancient texts and records, you see. I'm far more at home with a book in my hand than a blade. Some of the knights tease me and call me Professor Papyrus. And stupid names like that. No, hell no, Papyrus is a sick name. I'm the Great Papyrus. Yes. Oh, and because of that, I'm going to give you Papyrus' voice. <laughs> oh well, doesn't bother me. They're descended of the ancient kingdoms, so I understand that they have their pride. Descendants of the kingdom? That's right. The knighthood were originally descended from the royal retainers. That's why they're so well disciplined, and why they take such pride in protecting the people. But looking through various old texts, I was certain that the location of the ancient kingdom was what was known as the Last Lands. That was there was once a kingdom where the last lands are? I've never actually been there, but it's definitely possible that some traces of the ancient castle may remain. One day, I'd like to go and see for myself. Oh, wait, if I talk to you again. Okay. Okay, alright. I hope that it wasn't the progress person. Okay, I want to find Ludius. Where the hell are you, dude? I must sell. Let's talk to you. You don't have a fog tomato, hermit ginger, cloud rock salt, and cup of peril, do you? I've been looking for them everywhere. If you can give me them, uh, yes, recipe person. Really? 
You'll really give them to me? Thank you. Wait there a minute. Yes, the second recipe I found. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go. It's to say thanks. I'll give you the recipe too. Royberg tomato juice. Blech. Disgusting juice recipe. <laughs> it's called disgusting juice recipe. For years now, my mom's been saying that. How she wants to drink Royberg tomato juice. But it's really hard to get a hold of the ingredients. I've asked lots of travelers, and no one's house, ha no one else has had them. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Why did you give me a recipe that's called disgusting juice recipe? That is... Bleh. That's, uh... I saw the monster who kidnapped us. He was just a little kid. If I had talked to him, maybe we could have worked it out. Maybe we could even become friends. Yeah. Yeah, dude. He needs friends. Go talk to him. Have I talked to you already? I think I did talk to you, but... Uh... Oh, yeah. You're the humming guy. Wait. Who oh! You're the dude. Okay, you're pro you're okay. You're a progress person. Um, where the hell are you, Ludius? Where the hell did you go, dude? I want to sell some stuff. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the thing down here. Maybe he's in the, uh, the sauna. He might be, cause I can already tell. <gasps> yes, Ludius, bro. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's sell that. Check this black feather. None of this. No, I didn't want. No, I didn't mean to sell the lamp work. Damn it. Sell that. Blazing rock. Hard front tooth. Squishy skin. Gold gem. Water shield. Ooh, water shield. Pulsing eye. Aura. Another bone. Ooh, cure two. Uh, death in circle. That's cool. Inspire. Cure two. Slippery hide. Let's see, so all this stuff, let's just sell all this stuff and then see what I can get. Wow, I have a freaking lot of stuff I didn't sell. Is that it? Okay. Alright, let's see what I can get now. Come on, new stuff. Um, oh, I still can't get life. I need a four-leaf shamrock. <gasps> Cleave! That's new. Haven't gotten that. Get that. Um... Cure two, booyah! Let's see, inspire. I could have swore I had that. Oh, it boosts attack of all. Oh, I know I didn't get that. Awesome. Um, all right, let's see. What did you get? Stop. Got that. Oblivion. I need a small cog. That's probably her best attack. Ignores the fifty percent. That ignores fifty percent of defense to all enemies. Hell yeah! Um, let's see, what did you get? Diffuse. Uh, enables the use of diffuse, casting diffusing magical energy on a selected item. Causing it to affect all allies. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pinpoint. Alright, well, I'm gonna get that. Um, do I have drain? I did get drain. Still can't get magma. I need to get that hexagonal pendant. Where do I get it from, though? No freaking clue. I already have fire, too. Uh, but, oh, vanish. Get that. Oh. And I can't see. Oh, suck to him. How about taking it easy for a little while, eh? I guess it might be worth talking to some of the villagers, though. Alright, well, let's go talk to. Um. My pe what? You guys are just relaxing in here? These bats are me. These bats are me. And I am these bats. Right now, you are, in fact, inside my very being. This room is filled with the beads of sweat from my- Ugh. There's nothing like a nice hot steam bath. The secret to a long life, I say. These bats are a mirror of the world. Everything in here, joy and sorrow, war and peace. This is where I've chosen to do battle. You too must choose your own way. Ugh, let's get out of here. It's a freaking mail fest in there. Let's go, uh, let's go talk to Kerr. Because I need Julie in my party before I can buy Sprite Knife for her. That's why I can't see what she what she can get. Um, all right, let's uh, let's go talk to uh, Kerr. He was over here. He's up the snowman. There you are. Maybe I'll go shopping, or maybe I'll try talking to some people. Hey, people won't be suspicious of me, right? Will they? Nah, you're cool, bro. All right, let's go into here. This is where uh, Eterna was. Yeah. Everyone here seems to have a lot of confidence in the knighthood. That Princess Julian in particular, I don't know what on earth they see in her. Uh, let's 
Let's talk to him, because I can make that. Yeah, give him the recipes. Let's see. Royberg tomato juice. Uh, the most disgusting juice you've ever tasted. It boosts the amount of experience earned, number of drops. But that's what this does. It's a simple, slightly sweet soup. It boosts the amount of XP. Well, let's, let's just see if it's better. Maybe it maybe give me a more XP or experience in the other soup. All right, let's see what the apothecary has. Buy more mid potions. Uh, more mid ethers because I use those a lot. Oh, panicas, yeah, hell yeah, give me those. I use those a lot. Uh, I haven't really used those, but I'll buy more just in case, and I'll buy some tents. There you go. There you go. It's all thanks to Lady Julian that we can enjoy our our food like this. I have loved the princess so much. She's so strong and so beautiful. Hello, welcome to our fine establishment. No one has ever accomplished anything on an empty stomach. You'd be wise to remember that. All right, it's time to go talk to the guy staring at the princess's cabin. This creepy guy, this guy. So, you are the heroes who saved our village. I am Lady Julian's second in command, Cornelius. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And there is something wrong? Nothing. That's the old man who hired me. So, you are the travelers who rescued the people of our village. It's thanks to you that no lives were lost. Thanks to you, I am very grateful. I changed his voice a little bit. Once again, I must ask that your lips remain tightly sealed with regards to your mission. This most especially in front of Her Highness. Do we have an understanding? Who are you? Yes, yes. Exactly. Very good. We shall soon depart. Make preparations immediately. Ah, yes, your, yes, your Highness. Depart. But for where? We must ensure that nothing like this can ever happen again during our absence. Mobilize the knights and have them eliminate all nearby monsters. As you wish. I shall have the knights prepare art for departure. Is she evil? Is she going to be the evil member of our team? What's wrong? Did she do something to you? Want me to give her a piece of my mind? How about I give her a blast of my magic instead? Be quiet, both of you. Whatever's the matter? She said she was going to have the knights eliminate all the nearby monsters. If they do that, the little boy will... Please, Setsuna, try and forget about that boy. You have an important duty to fulfill, remember? Yes, I, I know. Hey. I I agree with Setsuna. I want to help him. Kerr. I mean, he's just like us rare bloods, right? He's not quite human, not quite a monster. I bet he feels all alone in the world. If we could just talk to him like Setsuna did, I think we could become friends. Ugh, not you too, Kerr. Are we going to help him then? Fine. Thank you, Ender. How unlike you, Ender. Oh well, this is Setsuna's journey. We gotta respect her wishes, right? Thank you, Niter. No need to thank me. I don't want you to have any regrets when this journey's over. Alright, it's settled then. Come on, we need to hurry. Thank you, everyone. So we find that little monster before the knights do and help him escape. Have I got that right? Yes, please. Yes, everyone came back to my party. Hidden agenda. Oh, so I gotta go... I have to get to him before everyone else does? Alright, well, we'll continue this next time.